Meat eaters, what type of meat, if any, is off your menu for ethical reasons? Shark fin. Turtle meat because I like turtles. Never liked the idea of eating something that was cooked alive. Octopus. I'm pretty sure those little homies are semi-sapient. Plus when the space cephalopods show up I want to be clear I didn't eat their little cousins. Cephalopods. Those little suckers are smart like at least dolphin smart. Human. I won't support anything that is obscenely wasteful. When I was 14 and went fishing with my dad I caught a shovel nose shark. Absolutely gorgeous creature it was almost as big as I was. We took it home and I honestly thought it would feed all 8 of us. It was a holiday so it was my family and my uncle's family. Anyway, dinner gets served, everyone else had chicken. I was served what I could only describe as cooked fish that looked like the size of maybe 2 or 3 big sausages. It turns out that only the tail meat is actually edible. I was M-O-R-T-I-F-I-E-D. Killed a giant animal only to basically eat two hot dogs worth of actual meat. Never went fishing with my dad again because it turned out he knew that when I caught it. If I had have known I would have thrown it back. Veal. I remember being a kid and my mom made us breaded veal and said it was chicken and when we finished announced you just ate baby cow I cried so much lol. Veal. Won't touch it. Ortolan. It's not tasty enough to make it worth the torture. Anything that is cooked alive. I no longer eat beef. When I was in high school, my boyfriend at the time was a farmer. He introduced me to his cow and I instantly fell in love. I thought it was Suaru cool he had a pet cow, and I volunteered to feed it almost every day and even named it. I thought it was strange he never named his pet. One day, he told me he was taking the cow that I named Bud to fair. Me being 15 and incredibly naive didn't know what that all entailed, so I was all too happy to help out during fair week, feeding, bathing, and giving Bud all of the love and head scratches imaginable. Bud did really well during show, and he told me that he sold him for a high price. Naturally, I was incredibly upset that he sold the cow, but since it was his to begin with, I didn't put up much of a fight. About a month later, we were at his house eating tacos. He asked me if I liked the meat. I was confused, but agreed that it was really good, and that's when he dropped the atomic bomb that I was actually eating my beloved bud. The person who bought bud off of my boyfriend shared his meat after butchering. It was like being fed your dog or cat. Every time I think about eating beef, it makes me physically sick. I haven't touched it in 17 years. Primates, cetaceans, brain and lymphatic tissue of any animal, dos. Any that comes from an endangered animal, for example tiger meat, or any that have abhorrent extraction practices, for example shark fin. I know that the other types of meat I consume do not grow on trees, that something had to die for it to be made available, but there is a difference between killing an animal with a quick pressure gun and cutting off their fin and throwing them back into the sea to die slowly and painfully. I don't eat pork or any pig meat. I used to work on a farm where I raised pigs. Five adults and something like 40 piglets. I fell in love with them. I used to just go on my off hours and hang out in the piglet pen they would just leap all over me and give me kisses they're massive smart. I can't eat them now any more or less than I don't eat dogs. They're untouchable. There was a runt piglet. I named him Slayer because he probably shouldn't have survived, but he did. He was hardcore, so I had to give him a hardcore name. He was a runt named Slayer. It perfectly fitted him. Foy Gras. The poor duck suffers so much. Yak, because there's a lack of yak. Despite websites promoting eating yak over beef, yak has become an endangered species. Asterisk. I don't do humans. Their faces are just too realistic. Octopus. There's no way I'm eating an animal that intelligent that was also given a rough hand by nature as it is. Plus I consider it to be my favorite animal. I've also only eaten octopus twice and both times it was rubbery and tasteless. It wasn't even worth it. Any fish I don't catch myself, because the oceans are being proper f 
by overfishing and there's no sustainability to it. And battery farmed because it's a hellscape. I'm aware there's a massive problem with meat eating in general, but environmentally and morally. I've tried a couple of times to wean myself off it. I'm down to three dinners a week instead of every lunch and dinner. And as soon as I can buy lab grown meat I'll never look back. Long pig. The things it just seems mean. Bluefin tuna. They are almost all gone. Horse, but that's a personal reason because I've spent most of my life around horses. I don't begrudge anyone who does eat horse meat, it's just something I can't do. Otherwise, I'll eat any meat but I prefer locally raised, pastured meat and will happily pay more for meat that is raised ethically and not factory farmed. Edit to add I would not eat dog or cat either because I see them as companion animals. But in, not going to judge someone who does. The more I read this thread, the more I realize that I probably shouldn't be eating any meat in general since I have such strong ethical and environmental concerns for so many different types of meat. Dogs and cats probably any common pet. Pigs. They're so smart and a while ago there was news about the pig farms in our country that they are often basically tortured. Things don't happen according to the rules. I guess the farmers need to let off some steam because they basically take out their anger on those little piggies.